So tonight what we have to do is we got to get all of lane uh, three rebuilt. So that's four beds that we got to build tonight. So let's get started. Power tools with laser beams are awesome. I've learned, uh, and I'm no carpenter expert, and I'm not claiming to be, but for all of you like me who kind of know your basics and uh, can get through, always buy twice as many fasteners as you think you actually need. Always. Just, there's no question about it. Don't try to be exact, precise, it doesn't matter. Take what you think you need, double it, you'll be happy every time. I had three screws left, or two screws left in the box that I bought and I needed two more so uh, that would have cost me uh, like 10 bucks in gas plus an hour and a half uh, just to go get more fasteners so always get twice as many as you need unless of course you live right next to Home Depot in a big city then you don't have to worry about it but if you live in a homestead out in the middle of nowhere get twice.
Okay, I got all four of them built, all four of them lined, and now the next thing to do is drill the holes, get the drains in, silicone them up, and let them dry overnight. So let's get to that. All right, so we got a lot done tonight. Uh, let me show you. This is lane three. Got the drain in, got all the uh, pond liner put in. Underneath, got the drain all put in. The whole lane is done. So now it just, the silicone that I put it on, just needs to dry tonight. And then tomorrow I can actually start loading up lane three with rock. And let me show you uh, lane one. So we got six beds that we need to fill with rock. And then on lane two, uh, the production lane, we're actually gonna raise up all the rock if you remember. Um, we had lowered the rock down. Here you can see, see how the rock is lower there? Well, we did that because we needed uh, the aquaponic water to uh, come up high enough so that the microgreens actually got wet. And uh, if you've watched my previous videos, you know we've decided to move away from aquaponics and microgreens, but we're gonna go back to pure aquaponics and pure microgreens is gonna be the new thing which means we're using top-down watering on the microgreens with pure, clean water. Uh, so we don't need the beds to slow anymore. And that's good because this bed here, see that? That's all algae. And it's in here because we've allowed the water to come up above the rock line and then the algae is just able to thrive. So we're gonna fill this back up the water line will stay below the rocks. All the algae will be gone. That's going to be awesome. And then we're going to start getting the aquaponic beds put in. Um, actually, let me show you that here. Look at that. So this is bed two on lane one is where I'm standing right now. And we actually literally just threw seed in there just to see how it did. And we're really excited because it's coming up already. And it's just been a few days. So we've also put in some kale that we had previously sprouted. And it's doing pretty good too. So we're pretty excited about this new setup. And uh, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to be off from work and I'll be here putting rock in, using our ramp, and getting lane three completely filled in, getting lane one completely filled in. Then I gotta put the aquaponic um, water delivery in for the, the grow beds. And, uh, oh, then I gotta redo the automation for lanes one, two, three, and four uh, so that it, the, the valves can all be controlled. So we're getting pretty close to uh, wrapping up aquaponics and microgreens. Uh, and we're going to be moving on insulation. It's happening pretty fast, isn't it? At least I think it is. Hey, hey, thanks for following along. Really appreciate it. I'm going to go in, get some dinner, and uh, spend some time with Mrs. Martian. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. You can like us and subscribe if you like also. We appreciate that. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, on Facebook. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian. Out.